Hi guys and welcome to my channel. So in this video we are going to be doing a video that you guys have been requesting. Actually you requested it on Instagram and also because I posted my clean out video of my collection and you guys just really want to know the products that I got rid of, why I got rid of them, what are my thoughts, why I no longer like some of them, all that stuff. So I just wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys about it in this video. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I got two big boxes right here, but let's get into this new setup because I think it's cute. This is my more chill, talking type of setup. This is actually my old setup because you guys know I got a new camera and a new mic recently. So that setup is in the other room and I put the other setup in this room, but I use the same lens for both. I just take the lens off and switch it. So I'm gonna have this set up just sitting here, and this is my guest room, by the way. I'm gonna have my little blanket, but I wanna also put some more stuff right here because I feel like it's kind of plain. Y'all let me know if it's plain or if you guys like it like this. Okay, you guys, so I'm just gonna go ahead and dig right into these products because it's gonna take, gonna take a hot minute. All right, so what I did, I just went ahead and took everything out so that I can just throw everything in this box that I had everything in so we could be nice and clean. Especially because I have a lot of collections. So the first line that I am getting rid of is the Aussie Moist line. I have a lot of Aussie products. Honestly, the only reason I'm getting rid of these is just because I have too many products. You guys are gonna see there are a lot of products in here that may have silicones and stuff in them. It's not that I don't like those products, it's just that I have more products that don't have stuff like that. So it just makes more sense to just give these products to other people who may be in need of products and stuff like that. And I just feel like this is the time of giving. If you guys haven't done any type of a deep clean or anything, they kind of tell you if you haven't used it in a year or so, just go ahead and give it away. With products, I'm like, if I ain't used it within a three month span, I'm probably not gonna use it. So that was my whole thing about what I give away and what I should not give away. I got so many Aussie products, you guys. You know, they have the curls line. You guys know I love this deep conditioner. Like, it was so good. The three minute Miracle Moist, really good deep conditioner. The Aussie Moist is a really great conditioner. If you have issues with detangling your hair, the Aussie Moist is bomb. Just so you guys know, because I know I didn't tell you guys, I am going to be donating these products to a shelter. The next line that I'm giving away is the Shea Moisture Hydrate Repair Conditioner. This is the Manuka Honey and Yogurt one. This one, I did like it. It's packed with protein, which is good. So if you are looking for protein, this is it. But you guys know I mentioned this in another video. If I'm gonna add any protein to my hair, it's gonna probably be the Myel Deep Conditioner or um, the Camille Rose Protein Deep Conditioner. I wasn't a big, huge fan of this line. I did like it, like it was cool, but it wasn't like wow or amazing or I just don't even reach for it. So we're just gonna go ahead and give that line away. So I am getting rid of the Heavenly Halo collection and I wanna get rid of this just because it just didn't wow me. The smell is okay. It's not one of those lines because they have so many that I pinpointed which ones I just really like. And when, the way that I rate this is everything like does the conditioner give me great detangling? Creams, do they melt into my hair? And all of that was yes. Yeah. So then I went down and I was just petty. Does the damn smell good, girl? I don't know. That's how you gotta be when you're trying to get rid of stuff. You just gotta be like, but like, will I pick it though? You know what I'm saying? Like out of all these products, will I pick this up? And the answer was no. I just never reached for the Heavenly Halo collection. So I think somebody else would, would love this collection and get more out of it. Oh my God. And y'all know I hate the, the pink lemonade line. Oh, that's just not, this is just not it. And it's so crazy because I did a rod set with this, with the pink lemonade mousse. And I, I swear to y'all, I loved Love, 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 love that wash and go. But this damn mousse was so sticky and just gross. I just don't want to use it again. This is a full mousse. I had two because I purchased two. I actually purchased two and I tried to give one away and it came back. Like I, That happens a lot to me. You guys send me addresses and then the products just come back to me. And I'm not reaching out to you no more because at that point I'm upset. And also the Do It For The Culture collection, like the collections are great you guys, but this one, it does what it says, like Do It For The Culture, so like it gives you more bigger hair. It's not for taming or nothing like that. It's literally for like fluffier hair. It's like a softer hold and stuff like that. And I got to the point where I have so many collections, like if 
if I only have one product or so, I'm just like, I gotta get rid of the line because they don't have enough products for my show. Wait, is that all the main choice? Yo, just those three collections is what I'm letting go. And like I say, it's literally just because they just weren't my favorites. I looked at the main choice shelf and I was like, which collections are like my diehards? And I was like, Ancient Egyptian, Tropical Moringa, and the original. Those are my top babies. These other ones, also got some more Shea Moisture products. This one is Image Rehab Conditioner. I don't know, I think I used this once before, but I felt like I was not gonna gravitate. There's so many Shea Moisture products because I've had these Shea Moisture products for some time now, when I was a Shea Bastard, and I ain't been a damn Shea Bastard in a minute, girl. And it's for a Damage Rehab. It's like a Damage Rehab Shampoo and Conditioner. So it's for fragile, frazzled hair. And it has like olive leaf extract and avocado oil. I, honestly, it sounds amazing. It says it's color safe. So anybody with some color probably love these products. I have color, I have like a darker brown on my hair, but I don't have like color color. I haven't tried this. And I think one of my subbies sent this to me. Oh, I haven't tried it. This is the Cannabis Sativa Hemp Seed Oil Conditioner by Shea Moisture. It doesn't contain CBD oil or THC, so that's not what this is. But I remember she told me that she sent us. Dang. I might have to keep this because I do want to try that out. This is the coconut and hibiscus one. And this one is the coconut oil one. Also, I got a curl moisture milk. The only reason I'm getting, giving away one of these because I have too many of these. I'm also, y'all, Eco Slay has a deep conditioner. And the only reason I'm giving this away is because I just don't reach for this line and it smells so good and I just want somebody else to actually go ahead and use this. But it says, after shampooing, apply a liberal amount of banana cream to soak in wet hair, evenly distribute and leave on for 30 minutes using a heat cap for full penetration. Actually, let me tell y'all why I'm really getting really rid of this deep conditioner. Because it is Eco Slay, but for some reason, all of their packaging does not look the same. So it's not cohesive. So on my shelf, it just don't blend right. And I know, I'm telling y'all, I had to get real real petty and picky with letting products go. And that's just what I had to do, friend. Like, don't judge me. Shea Moisture Co-Wash. This is from their Curl Moisture, the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Moisture line. So the next product I got is by One and Only. And this is a Wholesome Plus Oat and Fig line. So they sent me, I wanna say they sent me like four sets of shampoos and conditioners. Or three, and probably it was three sets, so it was six. And I just don't need any more shampoos and conditioners. <laughs> like I legit have so many co-washes, so many Diva Curl products and stuff, that I'm just like, I just don't have time for a line that only have a conditioner and shampoo, so. And I gave away some of them to my mom, but that's just what I had left, so I'm gonna go ahead and give that away too. They got an oat and figs shampoo and conditioner and it's an oat and honey. Now, I do have the entire lot of body line. Honestly, y'all, I don't know why I'm getting rid of this. It just did not scream out to me. Nothing about this says I need to use it. Here's actually the conditioner portion to the Shea Moisture Coconut Oil Shampoo. Y'all know I did not like this cashmere and caviar line. Like, it was okay but it's not something I would run out and get. I have some Cantu products that I wanna give away. This is the Curl Activating Cream. Now, I do like this product, but like I said, y'all, I just got so much stuff that I just need to go ahead and start giving some stuff away. And I, y'all know I like this. I did a full wash. Dang, as I'm talking about it, I'm like, dang. I might need to try this out one more time. I have so many products from Cantu, actually. This is a style frizz-free Finisher. This is all sheen. With no sheen, sir. It just got a little scent to it, though. It got a little fresh in the, but it ain't doing nothing. <laughs> Girl, what is this? I have the Cantu Scalp Saver, and this is actually the texture line, and I do like this line. I just had to be picky, y'all. This was my favorite shampoo. I'm probably gonna put this back in the shower, but I did wanna show y'all. This is like my favorite shampoo, and this is the Apple Cider Vinegar Tea Tree Soothing Shampoo. I do love this stuff. Like, I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in my shower. I don't even know why it's in the pile, 
but I am gonna get rid of the leave-in conditioner and the scalp saver you guys know I don't really like oils like that another Cantu product the curl stretcher this was actually cool they're gonna be some lucky people I'm telling you these products are not bad this is the coconut curling cream now the Gemini naturals products they're actually a line that do hair coloring and stuff like that they just sent me some additional products like a seal it up oil you guys know I don't use oils this is a white color gel it's a vegan tip like this is a white color gel I don't really know what this is for, so it's not color though, it's white, so yeah. And then there's a leave-in conditioner primer. The other line that I'm giving away is the Healthy Thicker Curls line, and I actually really love this line, but it comes with an oil. I don't use oils. Curls, some more curls products. This is the Goddess Curl, and this is the Creme Brulee. I remember hearing Natural Niece, talk about these products so much, and they look great on her hair, and they were great back then, but now, Hair products have revolutionized, and this line just doesn't do it for me. I really like the Blueberry Bliss line, so I did keep that from curls. Every other line, I think I pretty much am doing away with for curls because I just feel like they can do much better. I got a little Gorilla Snot. You never know when somebody in that shelter may want to slick they shit back, okay? So, send it along with them. That's a brand new one because I just wanted a mini one. I got these two products from Ion, these are actually like luxurious shampoo and conditioner. I think it's for when you're gonna like heat, like um, use heat on your hair or something. Here is another one, it's really good though, it's really good. This one is by Be Care Love Superfoods, I think that's the name up there, but this is a kale, keratin, avocado oil repair conditioner. It's vegetarian and it has no parabens, no sulfates, and it's color safe. Now I did like this, I really did, but this is the only product because I got it in like a Sally box. And when I only have one product, in the same Sally's box, they sent me this Bioteria, Bioterra, Bioterra, I don't know why I was saying Teria. Bioterra Renew Leave-In Silky Milk, and it's like a spray. I don't think I've used this, but if I did, it doesn't look like I loved it too much. So we're just gonna give it away. Eden Body Works product, and I don't have any Eden Body Works products, but I think I may have gotten this in like a box or a bag or something, but this is a hydration custard. But it's not like a custard, like the Myel custard. It, lit it literally just looks like a cream. Here's a deep conditioner, it was just random. It's by this brand called Beautiful Main BC. It's called Sweet Sugar. Oh, it looks like I have a heat protectant from that Ion line, that luxurious line I told you about earlier. So we're gonna put that in there, heat protectant spray. Oh, the serum from Curls. This is the Camille Rose Lavender line. I do not like this line. I've tried this line, not a big fan of it. It's okay, but um, I do feel like they have better products that I prefer over the other, and I only have two products that are from this line. So I figured let's go ahead and bless someone else with that. I have this Eva NYC Rockaway Curl Cream. Also African Pride sent me some products as well. And I thought they were gonna send the products that everybody keeps talking about, but this looks like they sent a moisture and detangling mask. It's like a braiding collection or something like a a protective styling or um, this is like a heat protectant spray this is a braid lock and twist gel oh they also had a, mo a moisture butter in the same line and this is the African pride black caster miracle line well I have some shea moisture deep conditioners clearly I'm getting rid of all these damn samples you know when you go to hair shows and they be giving you these samples little, little products this is a mixed chicks little foam actually for for one let's just acknowledge it. this product right here is glass i've never seen a product that was glass but this is a pure luxury argan curl enhancing cream another curls product lavishly curl spray this is like a two second day refresher leave-in sprays Refresher leave-in sprays are weird as shit to me because I never spray anything on my hair. This is the Shine and, and Jam. This is actually what I use for braids and stuff. These are other products that I'm giving away and I really don't want to give them away. They smell like sweet pea. Actually, I might not. I might just use this in my next wash day. But, yeah, because I don't really have that, that much in here. I've used this before for like a wash and go and it didn't work, but I kind of want to do coils with this. We're gonna give away this Garnier. This is some whole blends, leave-in conditioner. I do love this. This is the 
Dark and Lovely Damage Slayer. And this, actually, I, I love this line. I didn't want to let it go, but my hair is not damaged. Somebody else needs this three-step treatment. And it's for, like, color-treated hair. So I'm going to let somebody else get this. This is a treatment, conditioner, a leave-in spray, and a shampoo. This is by Sauce Beauty. This is an intense shampoo. It's good, too. I think it smells like mint. Oh, it do, it do, it do. I ain't finna get rid of this. I love mint. Oh, I also have these products right here. I know I do like these products. It is a shampoo and conditioner, but these are gonna be my shower products. I'm gonna keep those because I'm almost out of them. So it's like, why am I giving this away? These boxes are actually boxes. I just put everything that I didn't want on my shelves. But now that I'm looking through it, I'm like, let me just keep that and that, that. It ain't too much. And I'm almost done, y'all. I promise. This is some foam. I just don't want it. Foam. I just don't want it. I got my foam that I like. I like Nairobi. And I do have the texture ID when I want to try it because y'all keep saying that one's bomb. And people keep saying that the one by Doe, or however you say them, they're bomb too. So I'm going to try that out. But this is the Lotta Body Setting set Foam. I'm going to throw this away, but I just want to show y'all this. I'm throwing this out too. This normally, I used to use this so much back in the day. And ooh, it just, my rod sets came out so freaking great. But yeah, no more. I got this. This is Naturally Boundless Sweet Mint Smoothie. This is a hydrating set three-in-one conditioner. What's the three things? It's like a leave-in or something. I don't know, but it's a big conditioner. Somebody can get some use out of that. That's the only product I have from that line. These are oils. <laughs> no explanation needed at all. <laughs> Here is the holes and cover edges, edge control that goes with the African Pride collection. Oh, I forgot about this. This is the Eco Cannabis Sativa Oil line. And the only thing I'm getting rid of from this line is the salt spray and the co-wash just because I'm not going to use it. The body lotion was good. The deep conditioner is good. All that I'm going to keep, but I just didn't want these. These are two conditioners I bought because of y'all. This is the Giovanni um, for like conditioner everybody I thought was talking about, but then people said I got the wrong one, so uh, oh well. But it's so big, so somebody can use it. And then the Herbal Essence Hello Hydration Conditioner. It's so good. It smells amazing, but I don't, I'm not going to use this stuff anymore because I have uh, more things now. <laughs> I got me a little got to be glue gel for them out there in that world to get their edges chillin. Chillin. Okay, you guys, so this is it. Last few products. This is a Kaleidoscope Diamond Shine Spray. Now, this is actually a real spray. It, like, you spray it on your hair. It makes your hair shine a little bit. See, y'all see? It Leaves a little oil on, a little shine. That's a shine spray. I don't know what they doing. But anyway, I'm going to go and get this away so y'all can be shining out here like superstars. I got this big ass edge control from Natural. I did keep all of their other products, but I just felt like somebody else could use this edge control because I don't use a lot of edge control. And I did get two of the Eco Glitters. And the last thing is this Revair kit. I only put it in there because it was in the box still, and I have not even opened it. But they came out with some new products, but I see some minis, and I, it's just not a whole line. But that actually is it. All the boxes are now full again, and those are all the products that I am giving away. So, now you guys know. I hope this video was helpful for you, or helped you out in some way, or just entertained your tingling feeling of knowing what products I don't want no more, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, you guys, so I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps to support my brand and help me keep going, keep all my lights on, and it help me keep the electricity going through the damn car and stuff, girl, because that thing can get it. We ain't going to talk about that, but anyway, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Walking on side, touch on your body, right like a skip.